Welcome to the Double Tree by Hilton Johobaru. This hotel, just located 5 minutes away from the Johobaru checkpoint, is the most luxurious hotel currently available in Johobaru. To know exactly how much I paid for this property, please check in the description below. And as always, I would really appreciate it if you can like this video as well as subscribing to my channel. As usual, I'll be posting new videos every week, so stay tuned. Now, I always believe that first impressions are important, and this cookie was my first impression of Double Tree by Hilton Johobaru. It was crunchy, it was fresh, and most importantly, it was really warm. So that's fantastic. I was also told that there is a shuttle service that goes to Mid Valley and JPO, which is an added bonus. Now, one thing I absolutely love about Hilton properties is the app itself. I was able to book the exact room on the exact floor that I wanted to stay in the night before I actually check in. So that to me is double thumbs up. As a gold member with Hilton, I was also upgraded to the King Executive floor, which gives me access to the Executive Lounge which we will check out later. But first of all, let's check out my room which is the King Executive Room at Room 3009. As I said before, first impressions are important. Now the room doesn't seem very big and it's not, but it's clean and it's fresh and I appreciate that. The first thing you'll see when you come into the room is the wardrobe and it has all the amenities that you need to make your stay even more comfortable. There are bathrobes, there is ironing, there is an ironing board and there is a safe. For those who are Muslim, there is also a praying mat just below the safe. There is also a hair dryer and some slippers. Right behind the wardrobe is where you'll find all the teas and coffees that you need during your stay. Now I know, a lot of people may be expecting something like a Nespresso machine, but hey, you have the lounge, so why not just pop down to the lounge and have yourself a cup of coffee or tea. There was also a kettle there, but then again, with the lounge access, I don't see a need to use this kettle. But it's safe to say that it is clean. There is a semi well stock mini bar, but then again, there is no price on it and I'm actually not sure whether it's complimentary or not, but I dare not touch it. The television in the room is of an adequate size and it has quite a few channels on it. The bed was the highlight of this room. It was really, really comfortable and it was accompanied with two firm and two soft pillows. I always wonder about thermostats in the room itself. It seems like the hotels are controlling the temperature regardless of what you input. Do you feel the same? Let me know in the comment section below. By the way, if 4 pillows is not enough, you can opt for more and they have a pillow menu, so go crazy. The desk was a bit small but it was sufficient for me but I can see why some people may find that a problem. Again, as a gold member, I believe this was given to me as a welcome amenity. But again, not too sure about that, though the fruits were fairly fresh. There's also this couch here, which is very comfortable. And as I said earlier, the TV was stocked with quite a lot of channels, as you can see. Let's check out the bathroom. This is the part which I really don't get. Now, aside from the standard amenities which you get when you stay in any Hilton properties, which is by Crabtree and Evelyn, the one thing I could not understand about this hotel is this really small sink. There is no bathtub in this room, but there is a standard rainfall shower as well as a handheld. Now, remember those slippers from earlier? Yeah, you'll need them in this toilet because whoever designed this toilet did not design the drainage that well and every time you shower, water leaks out from the shower. The swimming pool is located on the 13th floor. Now, it's not the biggest pool you've seen but it's actually quite well designed. There is a lot of area for you to lounge around even in the pool itself. 
Now, if you want to hang around the swimming pool but swimming is not your thing, there is also an Italian restaurant just right beside it and they actually have outdoor sitting areas as well. You can get a few pints of beer and enjoy a somewhat gloomy day in Johor Bahru. The in-house fitness center is interestingly located just right across the Italian restaurant and it's open 24 hours a day to all the in-house guests. There is a few treadmills and a few exercise bikes. The weight section of this gym is not that impressive with only one bench, but there was hardly anybody that uses this gym, so that's okay. Let's check out the executive lounge at the 29th floor of this property. The lounge itself is filled with a lot of seating areas and you can actually do your checkout when you're at the lounge. The hotel actually allows you to stay in this lounge past your checkout time, which is fantastic. Guests who has access to this lounge does have the option to have their breakfast either on the ground floor or in this lounge itself. Beverages such as coffee, teas, soft drinks and fruit juice are also offered throughout the day, as well as some small cakes and cookies. Between 6pm and 8pm daily, there is also an evening cocktail where guests can actually come and get themselves a glass of wine, beer, cocktails or mocktails if they are not into alcoholic beverages. The usual coffee, teas, juices and soft drink will of course still be on offer. The evening cocktail is accompanied with some hot dishes as well as some small cakes and canapes. If that's not enough, they also provide a high tea set to each of the patrons at the lounge. Now let's talk about something that really caught me by surprise and that is the breakfast scene at the Makan Kitchen. The sheer amount of food options was just incredible. On top of the normal things that you find in a hotel breakfast, there is also an ice cream bar. I mean, who has ice cream 7 o'clock in the morning? But hey, you have that option. On top of that, there was a lot of local cuisine such as Malay, Indian and Chinese cuisine. They were all excellent and I've never seen a hotel giving so many choices when it comes to food. So double thumbs up! As mentioned earlier, if you want to, you can actually have your breakfast at the lounge as well. Though the selection is not as much as the Makan Kitchen on the ground floor. But still, you have the privacy and the selection is still not too bad as you can see here. So I guess the big question is, would I come back and stay in this hotel again? And the answer is an easy yes. It's a really nice hotel in JB, it's the best hotel I've stayed in JB and I've stayed in a few. The food selection was great, the room wall is a bit small, it's fantastic and most importantly, the staff in this hotel is just impeccable. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video and as usual, please give that a thumbs up on this video and subscribe. I'll be having more videos coming up in the coming weeks, so look out for that.